So next, moving on to the clinical features or the oral manifestations of cherubism. So starting with the clinical features, the first and the foremost clinical feature will be deforming maxillary and mandibular overgrowth. Whatever the growth of maxilla and mandible, it will be over compared to the normal age right? So the size of maxilla and mandible is going to increase. So the face will give a cherubic look. Cherubic look means it will be whole full face appearance that will be like full rounded face appearance you can see. So there will be deforming maxillary and mandibular overgrowth. Now due to this overgrowth there are certain conditions which can arise that is like respiratory obstruction due to overgrowth of maxilla. It will be in all the directions. The growth of maxilla is going to grow in all the directions. So there are chances that it may obstruct the respiratory pathway. Along with that if the orbital rims or the orbital floor is involved there will be impaired vision or it can also cause impaired hearing sometimes the enlargement of maxilla right so deforming maxillary and mandibular overgrowth which will lead to respiratory obstruction along with that you will have impaired vision and hearing right so impaired vision and hearing so this is the first clinical feature next all the enlargement of maxilla and mandible are going to be painless whichever the enlargement will be it will be firm and non tender that means it will be painless and more commonly you will see that maxilla is involved in most of the cases maxilla is more commonly involved so this is about the overgrowth the second clinical feature is cervical lymphadenopathy that means there is the enlargement of cervical lymph node there will be lymphoid hyperplasia that will be increase in the number of cells and fibrosis will be seen which will increase till the age of 6 years and then decrease or regress till the age of 8 years mostly sometimes you can also see that it is continued till 12 years of age also right so lymphoid hyperplasia and fibrosis of cervical lymph nodes will be seen it will increase till 6 years and decrease by 8 years or mostly 12 years sometimes now if mandibular ridge is involved it is most commonly seen from molar to the coronoid process the region of mandible from molar to coronoid process is the most prone area in regards to cherubism right so it will be again firm and non tender now the if this area is affected there will be lot of malformations occurring in the development of teeth that is agenesis of second and third molar there will be no formation of enamel organ and at last no uh, presence of second and third molar there will be displacement of teeth due to rapid remodeling of bone there will be displacement of teeth premature exfoliation you will see that the deciduous dentition is shed very early compared to the normal age then transposition of teeth that means the position of teeth is changed from one place to another it is erupted at some other position there will be rotation of teeth you will see delayed eruption and sometimes resorption of teeth is also seen so these all are the signs and symptoms in related to the formation of teeth right so deforming maxillary and mandibular overgrowth cervical lymphadenopathy and lastly molar area from from molar to coronoid process of mandible which will lead to all these things right now if maxillary ridge is involved there will be a v shaped palate the palate is going to be v shaped and the ridge is going to be enlarged and it will be form and non tender Again, now there is one more feature which is most commonly asked in one mark questions or in pre PG examinations that is the eye heaven appearance or eye looking towards heaven appearance is seen in which disorder so that is cherubism that means eye looking towards heaven that means it, it looks like the patient is seen in upward direction that means there will be some space seen between the iris and the between the iris and the sclera this is your iris and this is your sclera so you will see some space between the iris and the sclera this is known as eye looking towards heaven appearance the patient will seem like it is he, he or she is seeing in upward direction so this is all about the clinical features and oral manifestation i just revise them fastly 
deforming maxillary mandibular overgrowth cervical lymphadenopathy and mandibular from molar to coronoid process and lastly eye looking towards heaven these are the four things which you have to keep in mind you just remember this diagram i have highlighted your maxilla your mandibles you can just recall in maxilla what is happening and in mandible and this is the most important thing i looking towards heaven now apart from this cherubism is also associated with clinic medical condition a syndrome that is known as nunan's syndrome i told you that the face of the facial appearance is going to be rounded so from round we can relate it to sun right sun is also round this seems very silly but you can remember the syndrome by this trick so face appearance is going to be round you can relate it with sun so suns from suns you can directly recall nunan's syndrome sun afternoon or nunan's syndrome right now nunan syndrome has now every syndrome has three or four uh, conditions associated with it right so the first condition associated will be psychomotor retardation there will be retardation of psychomotor skills psychomotor retardation right second one is orbital involvement third one is gingival fibromatosis fourth one is obstructive sleep apnea and involvement of humerus in condition in relation to cherubism right so round face appearance related to sun which will relate you to nunan's syndrome it has five things so the mnemonic to remember this five things is again p o g o pogo channel you guys must have watched this channel in your childhood so pogo h is the mnemonic now how will you recall this so pogo is the channel usually seen by younger children and in this cherubism also younger age group is most commonly affected so pogo h is the mnemonic to remember the conditions associated included in the nunan's syndrome right so this is all about the oral manifestations now there is a grading system grading system for cherubism it was given by arnold in 1978 Who gave this grading system? Are not. Are not in 1978 gave this grading system in which grade one he denoted as the cherubism is only going to affect both the both the ascending rami of mandible grade 1 what it is both the ascending rami of mandible are going to be affected by this condition this is your grade 1 now what is grade 2 for grade 2 you will see a side view right this is your maxilla and this is your mandible so in grade 2 the both the maxillary tuberosities right and left maxillary tuberosities along with the ascending ramus are involved so this is your grade 2 and the grade 3 is macune albright involvement of whole maxilla and mandible macune albright
इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ मैजिला एंड मैंडिवल एक्सेप्ट कोरोनोइड प्रोसेस एंड फॉन्डाइट राइट सो ग्रेट थ्री क्या होगा ग्रेट थ्री इज मैथ्यून एल्ब्राइट इन्वॉल्वमेंट दैट मीन्स इन फाइनल डिस्प्लेजिया I have discussed about Macune Albright syndrome. So that type of involvement of maxilla and mandible, except the coronoid process and the condyle. So condyle and the coronoid process are spared in the grade three. So this was given by Arnott in 1978. Now we are left with the radiographical and histological features of cherubism. Next we will discuss about that.